Let us all stand for the angelus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever, shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever, shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever, shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Today is Thursday, the 13th week in Ordinary Time. Our Mass Presider is Father Peter Lee, SVD. Please stand as we begin the Holy Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Magandang gabi po sa inyo lahat. Magandang gabi po, Father. So in today's gospel, Jesus teaches us, God is a forgiveness, is always unconditional. Let us pray. For the virtue of forgiveness, and may God bless us. Humble ourselves as God for mercy and pardon. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us. To everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, grant we pray that we may not be wrapped 
in the darkness of the error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of the truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Genesis. God put Abraham to the test. He called to him, Abraham, here I am, he replied. Then God said, take your son Isaac, your only one, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah. There you shall offer him up as a burnt offering on a height that I will point out to you. Early the next morning, Abraham saddled his donkey, took with him his son Isaac and two of his servants as well, and with the wood that he had cut for the burnt offering, set out for the place of which God had told him. On the third day, Abraham got sight of the place from afar. Then he said to his servants, Both of you stay here with the donkey, while the boy and I go on over yonder. We will worship and then come back to you. Thereupon, Abraham took the wood for the burnt offering and laid it on his son Isaac's shoulder, while he himself carried the fire and the knife. As the two walked together, Isaac spoke to his father Abraham. Father, he said. Yes, son, he replied. Isaac continued, Here are the fire and the wood, but where is the sheep for the burnt offering? Son, Abraham answered, God himself will provide the sheep for the burnt offering. Then the two continued going forward. When they came to the place of which God had told him, Abraham built an altar that are arranged the wood on it. Next, he tied up his son Isaac and put him on top of the wood on the altar. Then he reached out and took the knife to slaughter his son. But the Lord's messenger called to him from heaven, Abraham, Abraham. Here I am, he answered. Do not lay your hand on the boy, said the messenger. Do not the least thing to him. Do not do the least thing to him. I know now how devoted you are to God. Since you did not without from me your own beloved son. As Abraham looked about, he spied a ram caught up by its horns in the thicket. So he went on and took the ram and offered it up as a burnt offering in place of his son. Abraham named the site Yahweh Yireh. Hence, People now say, on the mountain, the Lord will see. Again, the Lord's messenger called to Abraham from heaven and said, I swear by myself, declares the Lord, that because you acted as you did in not withholding from me your beloved son, I will bless you abundantly and make your descendants as countless as the stars of the sky and the sands of the seashore. Your descendants shall take possession of the gates of their enemies, and in your descendants all the nations of the earth shall find blessing. 
and all this because you obeyed my command. Abraham then returned to his servants, and they set out together for Beersheba, where Abraham made his home. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. Not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to your name give glory because of your kindness, because of your truth. Why should we pagans say, Where is their God? I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. Our God is in heaven. Whatever he wills, he does. Their idols are silver and gold, the handiwork of men. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. They have mouths, but speak not. They have eyes, but see not. They have ears, but hear not. They have noses, but smell not. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. Their makers shall be like them, everyone who trusts in them. The house of Israel trusts in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. Please stand. God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. After entering on board, Jesus made the crossing and came into his own town. And there people brought to him a paralytic lying on a stranger. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Courage, child, your sins are forgiven. And then some of the scribes said to themselves, This man is blaspheming. Jesus knew what they were thinking and said, Why do you? harbor evil thoughts, which is easier to say your sins are forgiven, or to say rise and walk, but that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. He then said to the paralytic, rise, pick up your stranger, and go home. He rose and went home. When the crown the Sundays, they were struck with awe and glorified God who had given such authority to men. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As I mentioned in the beginning of Mass, God's forgiveness is always unconditional.
So in other words, there is no if for God's forgiveness. I have a. Can you fix it? Mom, turn off that one. I have a um, SVD friend, SVD father. So we were together in the Yuman because many students would stay there for their first study. You know, this Indian. This Indian priest, the mic from uh, this Indian priest uh, had his uh, dissertation. The topic is forgiveness. So every time we joke to him, and when he get angry, we would uh, tell him, "Hey, Father, what is the topic of your dissertation?" Yeah, he started laughing and laughing. Oh, my topic is forgiveness. That's why you should not get mad. Yeah, in our reality, in our reality, hey, sorry, ah, Joshi, can you fix? Hello. In our reality, it is very hard to forgive. It's not easy because forgiveness is a virtue, not by words, not not by preaching. It is by practice. By practice. And when you get hurt. It takes time to accept and to heal your wounds, and that cannot forget. Some people said, "Forgive is to forget." Cannot. Let me share with you this concrete example of Pope John Paul II. On May 13, 1981, then he was assassinated by a guy. Luckily, he did not die. And two years later, he visited this.、Um, Assassin in the Rome prison, and he personally forgave him. That is、um, great、uh, humility and、uh, virtue. That's why Pope John Paul II now is a saint, and Jesus、uh, also teaches us. Forgive one another as I have forgiven you. And you remember during the last moment, he said, "Lord, forgive them. They do not know what they are doing." So in our reality, we need God's forgiveness for our personal sins. But also, we need to forgive one another. Sometimes the hurt caused not by our fault, but by others' faults, or people wronged us, so that we cause that kind of、um, uh, pain or hurt. It took time to be cured. And to pass that kind of、uh, feeling, and Jesus still consoles us in today's gospel. Learn from Him, and He is gentle and humble, to ask for forgiveness and also to forgive others. 
You know, why do we forgive others? First, because of God. I forgive you because of God, not because of you. Second, I forgive you because of my conscience. I want to be peaceful. Secondly, I want to be healthy. You know, the more you hate somebody, the more you get hurt. So because of those reasons, so we want to forgive. And the forgiveness, it is a virtue by practice. Let us pray as God for this virtue of forgiveness. And we are imperfect. We need God. And somebody told me, Father, I'm so guilty. I don't want to come to church. I don't want to join in the choir. I don't want to receive communion because I feel guilty because um, um, I need really Lord's healing. I told them, you need to come to church more. You need to receive communion more often. Because we are imperfect, that reminds us we need Jesus, we need God. So let us try, ask God for his virtue and blessing. God bless us. My dear friends, let us pray that my sacrifice to yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands. O oh God, who graciously accomplished the effects of your mysteries, grant, we pray, that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of this sacred gift through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and the Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and the born Virgin Mary, fulfilling your will and giving for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, and so with one voice we acclaim. Oh, 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by setting down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. And at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In the similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the brand of life and the chalice of salvation, giving you thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that the partaking of the body and the blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with friends is our Pope, Jose Advingula, our Bishop, and all of the clergy and all of us. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coherent to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us unite with the Holy Trinity and confidently pray the prayer Jesus taught us.
Dear ones, Lord, we pray from every evil. Gracious, grant the peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all the trends as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who sent to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and the unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Please offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be peace. with you. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that I should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and the blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Many the divine sacrifice we have offered and received. Fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, so that bound to you in lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please kneel and turn to page 15. We invoke the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created. And you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O, o God, God who Holy instructed Spirit. the hearts of your faithful people by, by the light the of your Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit Grant us by the same Spirit to have a right judgment in all things and evermore to rejoice in His holy comfort through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please turn to the next page, page 16. The Epistle of St. Jude, verse 3. I found it necessary to write to you, exhorting you to contend earnestly for the faith which was once for all delivered to the saints. O oh, my Redeemer, has that terrible hour come upon us in which there remain but few Christians animated by the spirit of faith, that moment in which your just wrath will withdraw your protection from us? Have the vices, the evil habits of our age at last irrevocably moved your justice to vengeance? O oh, altar and the perfecter of our faith, we entreat you in the bitterness of our contrite heart, not to permit the beautiful light of faith to be extinguished in us. Recall your former mercies, cast a compassionate glance on the vine which you have planted with your light head, and which was watered by the sweat of the apostles, irrigated by the precious blood of thousands and thousands of martyrs, and by the tears of so many noble penitents and fructified by the prayers of many innocent confessors and the virgins. Divine Mediator, look upon those zealous souls who raising themselves incessantly to you. Pray for the support of our most precious treasure, the true faith. Arrest, O just God, the sentence of our rejection. Turn away your glance from our vices, and fix it on the adorable blood which purchased our salvation when shed on the cross and daily begs it for us on our altars. We beseech you, preserve us in the true Catholic faith. Sin afflicts us, disappointment consumes us, misfortunes obsess us, but to preserve your holy faith in us. Because you reached with this precious gift, we will willingly bear every pain and will let nothing alter our happiness. On the contrary, without the supreme treasure of the faith, our misfuture will be unspeakable and immense. O good Jesus, author of our faith, preserve it pure in us. Keep us firm in the bark of Peter, faithful and obedient to his successor, and your vicar here on earth, so that the unity of your holy church may be, protect, may be preserved sanctity promoted, the apostolic see free and protected, and the universal church extended for the benefit of souls. O oh, Jesus, author of our faith, bless those who oppose the Holy Church, grant peace and true unity to all world leaders 
and to all the faithful, strengthen and support us all in your holy service, so that we may live for you and die in you. O Jesus, altar of our faith, for you I live and for you I die. Amen. Please turn to page 37. Novena Prayers. O glorious Glorious Apostle Saint Jude Thaddeus, true relative of Jesus and Mary, I salute you through the most sacred heart of Jesus. Through this heart I praise and thank God for all the graces he has bestowed upon you. Humbly prostrate before you, I implore you through this heart to look down upon me with compassion. O despise not my poor prayers, let not my trust be confounded. To you God has granted the privilege of aiding mankind in the most desperate cases. O come to my aid, that I may praise the mercies of God. All my life I will be grateful to you and will be your faithful client until I can thank you in heaven. Amen. Blessed Apostle, with confidence we invoke you. Blessed Apostle, with confidence we invoke you. Saint Jude, help of the hopeless, aid us in our distress. Saint Jude, help of the hopeless, aid us in our distress. Pray Pray for us that before death death, we may may expiate all our sins sins by sincere sincere repentance and the the worthy reception reception of the the holy sacraments. Pray Pray for us that we may appease the divine justice and obtain a favorable judgment. Pray for us that we may be admitted into the company of the blessed to rejoice in the presence of our God forever. Most holy apostle Saint Jude Thaddeus, faithful servant and friend of Jesus, the name of the traitor who delivered your beloved master into the hands of his enemies has caused you to be forgotten by many, but the church honors and invokes you universally as the patron of hopeless cases and of things despaired of. Pray for me who am so miserable. Make use, I implore you, of that particular privilege accorded to you to bring visible and speedy help where help is almost despaired of, come to my assistance in this great need, that I may receive the consolations and succor of heaven. In all my necessities, tribulations, and sufferings particularly. We also pray for the following intentions, for God's blessings on the National Shrine of St. Jude Thaddeus and St. Jude Catholic School, for more vocations to the priestly and religious life, for board and bar examinees, those who are taking academic and other examinations, and all our devotees and their petitions. And that I may bless God with you and all the elect forever, I promise you, O blessed Jude, to be ever mindful of this great favor, and I will never cease to honor you as my special and powerful patron, and to do all in my power to encourage devotion to you. Amen. St. Jude Thaddeus, pray for us. And for all who invoke your aid. Let us pray. O St. Jude Thaddeus, relative of Jesus Christ, glorious apostle and martyr, renowned for your virtues and miracles, faithful and prompt intercessor of all who honor you and trust in you. You are a powerful patron and helper in grievous afflictions. I come to you and entreat you from the depths of my heart. Come Come to to my my aid with your powerful intercession. 
For you have received from God the privilege to assist with your manifest help. Those who almost despair of all hope, look down upon me. My life is a life of crosses. My days are days of tribulation, and my heart is an ocean of bitterness. All my paths are strewn with thorns, and scarcely one moment passes, but are witnesses of my tears and sighs, uneasiness, discouragement, mistrust, and almost despair prey upon my soul. You cannot forsake me in this sad plight. I will not depart from you until you have heard me. O oh, hasten to my aid. I will be grateful to you all my life. I will honor you as my special patron. I will thank God for the graces bestowed upon you and will encourage devotion to you according to my power. Amen. Saint Jude Sadeus, pray for us. And for all who invoke your aid. My God, I firmly believe that you are really and corporally present in the blessed sacrament of the altar. I adore you here present from the very depths of my heart, and I worship your sacred presence with all possible humility. O oh my soul, what joy to have Jesus Christ always with us and to be able to speak to him heart to heart with all confidence. Grant, O Lord, that I, having adored your divine majesty here on earth in this wonderful sacrament, may be able to adore you eternally in heaven. Amen. We pray the prayer of Saint Gertrude for the souls in purgatory. Eternal Father, we offer you the most precious body and blood of your divine Son, Jesus, in union with the masses offered throughout the world today for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in our homes and within our families, in Jesus' name, amen. We pray for the intentions of the Holy Father. together with our personal intentions through the constant intercession of our beloved patron of hope, St. Jude Tadeus, we all pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.
You have given them bread from heaven. The Lord be with you. Let us pray, O、oh、God, who in this wonderful sacrament left us a memory of your passion. Grant we implore you that we may so venerate the sacred mystery of your body and blood, as always to be conscious of the fruit of your redemption. You who live and reign forever and ever. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God and His angels and His saints. To page forty-three, blessing for the sick. Grant, Grant Almighty and Eternal God, God everlasting, everlasting health to those who believe. Hear our prayers for the sick, for whom we implore the aid of your tender mercy, that being restored to bodily health, they may give thanks to you in your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. They shall lay their hands upon the sick, and they shall recover. May Jesus, the Son of Mary, the Lord and Redeemer of the world, through the merits and intercession of His holy apostle Jude Thaddeus and all His saints, show them favor and mercy. Amen. Blessing of religious articles. Please raise them. Lord, show us Your mercy and the love, and grant us Your salvation. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Let us pray, dearly beloved sisters and brothers. Let us pray to God, Almighty Father, that we may be transformed into Christ's image throughout the devout use of these signs as aids to prayer. 
May the Lord in his love and mercy cherish and reinforce with his blessing these tokens of your devotion and piety, and may you take up the course of the present life without offending anybody, and may you attain eternal life with joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go in peace, love God, and one another. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God. Paalala po, upang mapanatili ang kaayusan sa loob ng simbahan dahil may kasunod pa na misa, ang gitnang pintuan ay entrance para sa mga taong magsisimba sa kasunod na misa. Ang mga pintuan sa magkabilang gilid ay magsisilbing exit para sa mga katatapos lamang magsimba. Ang blessing ay gagawin sa labas ng simbahan. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pakikiisa at pangunawa.